Dennis Lyon's skin cancer had mutated nearly a dozen times by the time he came to the cancer center at the University of California at San Diego. When I came to UCSD, I had been to other major cancer centers in the country because I have a very rare cancer called basal cell carcinoma metastatic. And um, most of them did not have a lot to offer me in the way of treatments. Two months later, he was in complete remission. In my case, we haven't had new tumors in months and months. And everything that I have had has shrunk to the point of being non-existent in some cases. Lyon is one of the lucky few that have kicked cancer by taking drugs called checkpoint inhibitors that use the body's immune system to fight cancer. The basic thread that runs throughout the different approaches in immunotherapy is the idea of react reactivating a patient's own immune system to fight their cancer. Checkpoint inhibitors unmask cancer cells that can hide from disease-fighting antibodies, called T cells. The uh, tumor uh, has found a way to shut off the immune system. And checkpoint inhibitors prevent that from happening. When the T cells can see the cancer cell, they can attack it. But it does not work for everyone. Over the past six, seven years, we've started to see these drugs actually come into clinical practice and make a real difference in the lives of some patients. And I'm going to underline the word some patients because it's still not enough patients. Unfortunately, the minority of patients respond to immunotherapy. The drugs are expensive and come with side effects. In some cases, they caused cancer to grow out of control, or they can inspire T cells to indiscriminately attack healthy cells. You take the breaks off uh, that the cancer has put in place, and it goes after the cancer, well, that means it might go after something else as well. UCSD doctors are creating genetic roadmaps of different cancers to see how they respond to immunotherapy drugs. This may allow the creation of targeted drugs for specific cancers. Kevin Enix, VOA News.